just yeah, that, that was that, that was very nice, but you know, what I mean, I didn't in that particular fight. I really didn't get to fight my fight. You know really what I mean? Fight. Yeah, the really oh, bold fight. Yeah. You know what I mean? That wasn't the real Larry Donald that really bold was fighting. Yeah, that's You know what I mean? Because I, I was more angry than anything. Yeah. Was you I mean, affected by getting punched by him? I was very affected. Really? You know, I was very affected by that punch. Because, you know, that wasn't supposed to have happened. But it did. Right. And, you know, it really threw me a curveball. Do you remember what, what, did you say anything to him? Was what? What triggered that? <laughs> what triggered that is normally really Bowles the one that's doing all the talking. We, you know, at the press conference, you know, we was out there in Los Angeles, and uh, you know, it was a bunch of people out there at the time. You know, they all was sitting, you know, in chairs or whatnot, and uh, you know, we was, you know, they was talking to me, and you know, I was telling them, I was saying certain things like, you know, you can look at really both. He's big, you know, I'm small, you know what I mean? He's slow, I'm fast. Mm -hmm. And uh, I say, he, he's the ex heavyweight champion. And you know, I'm soon to be the, heavy, the new heavyweight champion. And you know, he was saying, you better keep the ex heavyweight champion up out my mouth, out your mouth. And uh, I could tell something was wrong, but I didn't think he had the audacity to, to, to hit me like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. All that was really new to me, but still, you know, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> so when you stepped up to the little podium thing, you didn't say anything? He just hit you? No, no, I did, I did say something. You remember what it was? Yeah, I, I, I told him, you know, I I said all this stuff, and then they say, uh, well, you know, y'all stand up to do, and, and do this face off. I saw him, sh his hands was trembling. I saw his hands trembling. I said, what's wrong with this guy? So, you know, when I got up there, you know, I was still saying some things, and, you know, he was saying what he was saying, and then I told him, I said, you can look at me, I'm loaded with confidence. Mm -hmm. and, that's and then that's when he said, uh, you ain't going to be so loaded with confidence when I put my foot up in your, your ass or something like that, he was saying. This was all at that podium? Yeah. That happened pretty quick then. It seemed like as soon as you got there, it was bam, bam. Yeah, that, that, that happened pretty quick. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's so, uh, let me see if I can't pull it up. Let me see if I can't pull it up right quick. Well, as any great champion, I do what it takes to win. Mm. Well, you know, uh, <laughs> it's all good. You know, naming this fight is the beast in the beauty. And I'm the beast master. No, I'm not going to be doing any running. I'm going to be dancing. Yes. Dancing and stinging. I can tell you one thing. He's going to be beasted. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> Rick, if he does run, how do you counteract that? Well, I don't think Larry has faced any one of my caliber, you know. Um, I'm not like a Jerry Williams who's going to stand right in front of him. I'm going to cut the ring off, and eventually he's going to have to fight, one way or the other. But he talks too much. That's why I don't like him. <laughs> well, you can look at me. I'm loaded with confidence. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. If you really think you're loaded, you wait till after I put my foot in your ass. There's whoever trying to say you don't think that would be possible? Oh, I know it's impossible. How you figure that? What? How you figure that? Come on, 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 I was very confident, you know what I mean, going to the fight, but I was more angry than anything, especially when I, when we, when the press conference was over with, you know what I mean, we, we flew back to uh, Las Vegas, we were staying at Caesars Palace, and I went upstairs, as soon as I got to the hotel, I went upstairs, and I sat on the bed, and I cut the TV on, and ESPN was on. And then, you know, all I saw was, you know, 
them, you know, demonstrating what we, you just saw right there, and he, him hit me, bang, bang, and everything just went blank. I was, I was so, I was furious, man. You know what I mean? And you know, I didn't even have to fight this fight. You know what I mean? My managers and uh, my trainer and my promoter, they decided they're gonna have a meeting, you know, without me. And you know, my promoter, Bob Aram at the time, he said he didn't want to have this fight right now because, you know, Larry, Larry's man ain't right. But, you know, my, my trainer and my, uh, my manager, no, 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 he going to be all right. You know what I mean? We're we going we gonna to fight this. Uh, you know, Bob Brown was saying, no, I don't want this fight to happen. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, they refused, my trainer and my managers, they refused to go the opposite way because HBO, HBO was there and uh, HBO say, look, Larry don't have to fight this fight right now. He can just, he can wait and, until he get his mind and everything, you know, right. You know, but uh, my trainer and, you know, my ma I mean, my trainer and my manager, they say, no, 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 Larry gonna fight this. You know what I mean? Because basically I could have got paid without, I could have got all my money without you know, mm -hmm. throwing a punch. You know what I'm saying? I could, you know, I could get money without even throwing a punch. And uh, my man, you know, Bob Brown was like, nah, we don't want Larry to, you know, you know, I don't want Larry to fight this fight. You, you know, uh, it ain't the right time right now because of, you know, what went down. You know, my manager and you know, my train, no, nah, no, nah, we, we want him to fight this fight. You know what I mean? I guess they want to take this, you know, the money that, you know, we was about to, you know, receive, you know, mm -hmm. for the fight or whatnot. But, you know, that's, that fight shouldn't even took pay, play, you know. HBO said, you know, look here, you, we'll hold off on the fight until uh, a later date. Let me um, get you reacting to a video of him talking about him and uh, Holyfield. I don't know if you've seen it yet, have you? Bo, 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 why didn't you knock out Larry Donald when you when you hit when you hit him? Oh, he ain't hit him hard enough. <laughs> he, had, he had that power. When I told him before, I was uh, angry. You weren't that power. Out of anger, you were right, you're right up on him. Here we go, here, here, here we go. Here. Here. It's already happening. He was there it's over there. Up. I was over there, so when I threw the whole ball, yeah, but you know what? What Bo did, it was wrong for Bo to hit the guy. Before the fight? I'm just, I'm just, and he would hit this guy. But you know what? But you don't even know why I hit him. But you, I know you hit the guy. No, but you don't know why I hit him. Cause he did the Muhammad Ali thing better than you. No, no, no. He was acting like Ali. You know why I hit him? You know why I hit him? He had you in your feelings. He was good. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But here's the guy, here the guy, called the guy did an uh, impression of Ali a little bit better than him. And, and he got mad because that was his that was his hero and he didn't and want then, him. And then and then he looked more like Ali than he did. Is that true, Bo? I am like, I don't Yeah. I threw the whole cross and I had his dog no more. Yeah. That's wrong. That's called bullying. That wasn't bullying. That is bullying. Uh, uh, it said ain't bullying. What you is sucker bullying? punched him twice. Sucker punched him. I, no, I, 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 think, I think what we need to do is right. take up a fine now <laughs> and go get to the guy because you need to. And you know what? They need to add interest to that fine for all these years. Oh, oh, so he got paid already. Oh, yeah, so he's good, he's good. All right, all right. That, that, that's it. Okay. I can play it through. Yeah. All right, now, <laughs> a couple of funny things about it. Like, at the end of that, they were, like, insinuating that, that you got paid. You see, Holyfield was like, we should raise some money and send it to the guy for what you did to him. But was like, oh, he got paid. So did you receive some compensation for that extra for getting hit or to, for the fight to go on? I didn't get paid, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I figured it was just doing it to sound good. Right. But yeah, that's what he says, I mean. And yeah, that's about that. And also, you know, his excuse for doing it, I guess he just said because he was there, what it sound like, when his excuse is for why he hit you. Well, Holyfield's uh, explanation was he was jealous 
of your Muhammad Ali movement. That's what it was. And you believe that's completely what it was? Yeah, normally he the one doing all the talking. Yeah. He liked to be the one that tried to do all the talking and, you know, have the people laughing or whatnot. But, you know, when it came to me, he, he couldn't out-talk me. Mm -hmm. that, that was out of question. So just uh, kind of cut the head off the snake by right. swinging on you. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Did you ever... Uh, like try because you said you went into that fight you wasn't right and it's due to him with dirty tactics did you ever lie before a rematch yeah yeah i definitely i always wanted that rematch always yeah you know what i mean but you know i guess it was in his best interest to stay away from someone like me mm -hmm. you want to like cut a promo on him tell him you want to beat him up or something like that say what you want to like cut a promo on him tell him you want to beat him up or something like that oh <laughs> But, yeah, I'm just joking. He's I, I mean, I wouldn't mind doing that, but yeah, my thing is, watching. I wouldn't mind doing that, but my thing is now, you know, really Bo is not even half the guy that he once was. You know what I mean? Man. It wouldn't, it wouldn't do me no good to get in there, and, you know, beat up on really Bo. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Really Bo is somewhat, you know, basically, you know, just half, you know, just walking around like a zombie right now. Yeah. You know what I mean?